catch up with the thoughts in your mind they're everywhere and it's hard for me to bear cause i get so lost feel just like a boomerang cause you change your plans every day and you don't seem to care what i think or how it affects me since i lay my eyes on you my baby i just want to make your dreams come true my lady mm. if you low i lift you up just let me know when she gets tough do you feel the way i do my baby do you see me like i see you
Hello everyone, today I'm gonna add a couple more photos from this photo shoot. So let's get started with this uh, Visco app. So this photo was taken using the 56mm with the one half uh, mist, black mist filter. So I'm gonna use the E5 for this one. So it has a little bit of faded tone in it. So I'm gonna increase the sharpness slightly, increase the highlight safe. So because there are a couple pictures uh, using this uh, same location, I am gonna uh, copy and paste it, the edit to there and you can see that lighting is uh, slightly between the shadow and the light so uh, we uh, we are we were shooting uh, around one hour uh, within one hour of the sunset time so uh, you can you can see the same lighting in your local time just double check one hour in your within one hour uh, before your sunset you can get this kind of lighting in that so because I copy this edit I'm gonna paste it into the next couple one with the same um, same location because it's the same location I can just easily uh, copy and paste into uh, the similar photos so I'm gonna edit these ones and save it and then I'm going back to the draft and, and this photo shoot, uh, I was using the Fujifilm X-S10 and it has about 1,116 photos. So uh, the battery, as you have seen in the previous uh, first half of the video in the battery indicator, uh, it was uh, like about two slot uh, usage of the battery. So you can take a look back at the screen at toward the end of the video. So about 1000 photo, uh, two slots of the battery is pretty good for the SS10 because it's only using a small battery. Uh, the capacity is smaller than the uh, X-T4. So as I'm uh, editing this fourth of the same location, so just to make sure uh, the tone it is consistent slightly rotate to the left just like that and then save it and then let's go back to the next location 
So this is the fountain location. I'm gonna uh, do two sets of uh, uh, cropping. So I'm gonna use the HB2 for this one because it looks nicer in the green, uh, different tone of green in here. So I'm gonna um, do that and then contrast slightly smaller uh, exposure. So two by three crop. The first one I want to include the fountain in the back. So this is the first crop and this is the full uh, ratio crop so that uh, you can use it for story. The next crop I'm going to use is for Instagram 4x5. So I'm going to select adjustment 4x5 crop just like that. Slightly a little bit more headroom, leave a little bit more headroom. And then save it. So two different kinds of crop. One is for a uh, story, so you include more fountain in the background. So the next couple one are similar location. I'm gonna just paste it to these next four pictures. And the same thing I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna do a two by three uh, original ratio first, two by three, so slightly rotate and make sure it's balanced uh, in the back for the alignment. So, so this is uh, for story crop. So, and then the next one, I'm going to do the same thing for the Instagram crop. So this one is very close to the Instagram crop already, but um, just to make sure that uh, it is the, around the right place for the Instagram crop, because your fee, uh, if you want to make sure it is consistent, I see a little bit of the tilting to the back of the fountain. So let me tilt it to the left a little bit more. Um, so slightly tilt it to the left a little bit more so that it is uh, nice even alignment in the back. So that's um, the second photo in this location. Um, so the third one, I'm gonna do it quickly. So as you can see that it is about two or three minutes after the initial uh, editing. So, and then basically you just uh, uh, worry about mainly um, the alignment of the photo and the lines uh, in the background. And the advantages of the um, quick edit is that uh, in the travel, you don't have to bring heavy uh, laptop. You can just edit very quickly. Oh, so it's this one. So I'm gonna do a four by five crop in here also. So four by five around here. So let's see if the background, so the left side has too much. So I'm gonna increase the, tighten it up a little bit. Slightly, okay, so that's good. So save it, let me save this one. Okay, so next one, next two are similar. So I'm just do the same thing, two by three first for the Instagram story, slightly rotate to the left a little bit and make sure the body is in the center nicely, even out for the both sides. And then the next one, I'm gonna do the four by five, uh, four by five crop uh, in here. So. Okay, so save it like this. Okay. And then the next one. So this one, let me double check. The lighting is slightly different. I'm going to increase a little bit more contrast for this one because it has more faded tone in here. And because this one, um, let me do it like that slightly um, on the top. I like the uh, water on the top fountain also. So if you for Instagram uh, crop, I'm just gonna leave it like that slightly uh, rotate to the left a little bit more. Okay, so just some slight adjustment in the width. So after the story cropping and then I'm gonna um, update the Instagram 4x5 in here as well. So do a 4x5. Okay, save it. 
okay so next one are the flower styles so let's check um okay so the hp2 has more contrast um i like the more contrast uh, in the bottom against the top uh, lights so it creates nice uh, contrast and then let me do a 4x5 in this one okay so let me save it and this one still uh, on the 56mm f1.2 uh, the uh, this one is already uh, nice uh, soft already if you don't use filter but the filter it just added a little bit more uh, tone in it so let me copy this one and then paste it to the next one so this one I can increase a little bit more lights for this one and then increase the uh, the 4x5 crop in here so save it okay so next one so let's check um, I'm gonna use E5 for this one just for some variety in here so um, slightly reduce the highlight save you can see that uh, with the filter one half uh, on the highlight uh, of the uh, white top uh, it created a strong highlight but the diffusion will diffuse the highlight to create that layer of the softness as well so that's the advantage of uh, using that um, KNF concept so let me copy that one and then paste it to the next three it's their similar locations so I like the palm tree in the back so the first thing I'm gonna just save the first one like this and then I'm gonna add it with the 4x5 crop after the full save okay so save it okay so oh this one is already and this one just to be uh different i'm gonna crop it down a little bit more because we already have the full size for story so we don't have to do everything for story and you can just depends on your situation you can do how many if you like um for the story so sometimes a story can increase the engagement for the feed as well so it's good Mm, so let me do a 4x5 crop for this one slightly uh, with the flower left and right so save it and then um, it's the next outfit I like the sunlight in here so this one uh, I already posted one using the E5 I'm gonna be consistent use another E5 for this one so this is the 23mm f1.4 um, by the way, I pre-ordered it for the next version Mark II from the B&H. I think the shipping date is uh, on November um, something in the mid-November. Depends on the if there's a chip shortage or not. So let's see uh, how um, how soon they will ship the new lens. So I will have uh, I will have the um, the new lens to test it out immediately um just to see uh compare with this original one so this original one is already pretty good already so let's see how how it goes with the new one so after i save this one i'm gonna copy because uh, in the beginning i have couple of the similar tone so i'm gonna paste it to here and I'm gonna uh, um, just uh, after this couple ones so the lighting is a little bit too strong for this I'm gonna reduce a little bit and then do a slightly adjustment here okay so save it and then next one so this couple one I'm gonna just do the same adjustment because the lighting has to be reduced a little bit more 
Okay, so and then the cropping 4x5 crop slightly rotate a little bit more and give more headroom for this one. Okay, so and then the um, this one is similar, similar lighting next uh, from the so the light is hitting from the right hand side, um, the sunset light, the same sunset light from the right hand side. And um, I feel like it's cool that created some shadow uh, pattern on the face just to uh, play different shadow in here. So let me double check the contrast. Okay, so save it. And then the, this one looking toward the camera. If it's too dark, we can add it back a little bit more light for this one. So save it. 4x5 crop. Okay, so save it. Okay, so this is the 23mm. Let me edit a couple of the um, different uh, dress as well. So. So this one is the uh, 35 uh, 1.4 so just to edit some different one the last uh, I will take a couple minutes just edit um, this one let me save highlight save okay so save as this one and this one was using the 1 8 uh, black mist filter for the slightly you can see the highlight in the back uh, okay it has a slight glow in the back so that will have this effect for the background so i'm going to paste these four to there and then just crop it uh four by five crop in here Okay, so save it and then the last two photo okay so you can see that I leave a little bit of the headroom probably around one-fourth of the headroom because of the Instagram crop um, just make sure that it is um, similar um, according to your feed, how, how you usually crop the photos, just make sure it, it is consistent. And um, I think this photo is the 2314, uh, it's a different lens because uh, in that same location, I use two different lens for that. Okay, so let me save this one. Okay, so I think that's it. I, I updated um, just uh, three different outfits for the edits. So uh, thanks so much for watching and stay tuned for more video coming up. Bye.